Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Uh, it's been a few days. I even uh, basically ran out of episodes, my my buffer. Um, but I've been uh, busy. Hold on. Oh, sneezed. I've been busy uh, recording with Galen. Um, you know, scheduling demands that we record when we have the opportunity. So uh, I actually haven't had a very many opportunities to record myself. So there it is. Um, but we are more or less at the end of Bethesda Susa. I mean, we've got a couple of things left going on here. Um, this, this room spooks me. Um, but as long as we're careful, um, uh, one of the chambers is already broken open. A little bit concerned about that. We are famished. You know what? Um, I should eat some food before we continue. Uh, are we inspired? Choose some ingredients. Oh, we have Neutron Flux. Um, let's deal with that right now. Precognition. Let's cook a meal, choose ingredients. Neutron Flux. Delicious meal. Plus one AV permanently. Fantastic. Um, can we... I forget what the button is to switch tabs. Is it shift tab? No, that's uh, <laughs> it's probably control tab. No, I don't know. End the vision. That didn't go to the beginning again, did it? That's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> I thought end the vision meant Oh, okay, apparently I don't know what end the vision mean. I, th I thought that meant to um... Hmm. Well, we know that the neutron flux doesn't end up killing us so I could just cook with it again, but something something in me just refuses to uh, You know Do do this without the, the proper precaution. So we're gonna do it again. I'm afraid. I don't know why and the vision doesn't give me the option of like just ending it prematurely and not going back to the beginning so anyway we're gonna wait under turns no i don't want to return to the beginning of my vision we have plus one av permanently this is good then we're gonna preserve our food choose ingredients um i would like to do skulk and honey please and uh salt I've been trying this meal with Galen, and it has not been really working. Can use Intimidate and plus four DV. I mean, that's... That's actual garbage. <laughs> that is actual garbage. Um, completely worthless. Okay, so we have to kill ourselves a spider. There it is. There's our spider. I understand we cannot... Can we, sh can we shoot that with the laser? Perfect. I don't think we can do any damage to them even with a laser. You would think that light-based attacks would work on them. Um, as I understand, the, what I have to do is actually get caught in some webs. No, that doesn't seem to be working. There's a legitimate way to do this and I have never done it properly. Stuck. Okay, there we go. Not stuck anymore. You phase out, you phase back in. Okay, so when you're stuck in the webs, you are phased out temporarily. It's not really working very well, I have to say. I don't know why not. Um, you phase out, you phase back in. It seems that it happens like instantaneously and we can't really um, seem to stay phased out long enough to even land a single hit. Also, our um, gun is almost out of juice. Frozen nuclear cell. I wonder if that damages it at all. We've got tons of nuclear cells. We don't have to worry about that. Um, what's a, you know what? Let's just like 
fully explore the zone for a second. I can't remember. You harvest some phase silk from the northwest. I didn't realize that that's where we got phase silk. I wonder what we could do is we could just cook a new meal since I'm not a huge fan of our current meal. Where is the baddie, by the way? I don't see them anywhere. Where, where is this? Where's the spider? Where are they? They, they seem to have disappeared completely. Oh, Mr. Face Spider, where are you? I would like to fight. Where did you go? He's gone. He's like super gone. Where is he? Where, where did he go? Did he go upstairs? I wonder. Where did the spider go? He's just gone. Huh. Wondering if he's in the corner. No, he's not in the corner. He's just gone. All right, I think we're just gonna have to punch our way through here. I've, I've never done this part legit, basically. And I don't think I ever will. It's, it's just how these things go. It's fine. Uh, our, at least our electrical damage um, kind of goes straight through the AV of the wall. So we'll be getting through this wall pretty quickly. Where did the spider go? That's just so bizarre. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen them just like straight up, like disappear. I'm going to be like tapping this because I think it's actually faster. Also, give me a second. All right. This, this wall is good. I might actually have to, let's just like continue the pause until something happens here. Okay, it took a while, but I did bust my way through here. Uh, that room is always going to be a mystery to me. I'm getting closer though. I'm pretty sure if I had uh, made a meal with that face silk, then I could have um, potentially done interesting things. Now, this is a spicy room. Ooh, I think he fired a rocket at me. He is dead. Cool. Now, there was a chance we might have um, accidentally broken open sh uh, sad, sad, our ba sad Bear. I don't know what his name is. Sad Amos, the Sky Bear. Now, he has flawless crystal boots and ceremonial Viro Kopesh. We could try this again. I have. I, I did not have a very good time of this. I could try to fight him legit, but he is very tough. Um, personally, what I think I should do is uh, break the glass, or actually, what I should do is break the 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 um, what you might call it frozen pillar first and um, maybe give him some breathing room and then um, start freezing him with grenades, like refreezing him. Do we have any more? F oh, all of our stuff is frozen. I wonder what the effect of that is. Um, are we cold effects? We're fine. I definitely want a better meal if I'm gonna do this though. Whip up a meal, choose some ingredients. Why don't we try some, uh... Oh, do we have to... Oh, phase silk. Yeah, let's try some phase silk. I'm interested in what that will achieve. And we'll do some salt hopper chip. And, um... I don't know. Uh, salt. I guess salt hopper chip, uh, is the same thing. We'll do, like, goat jerky. 
Whenever you drop below 20% HP, you phase out for 20 turns. That's awful. We're getting just like awful dog dog shit recipes here. It is like absolutely worthless. I in fact I'm uh, I can't even make a new meal, so that's that is not not good. Um let's go ahead and preserve some things while we're in here. I'm wondering we could try we could try to go the uh beguiling route. Well, let's wait like five hundred turns. I think it's it might be seven hundred turns. I think it takes longer for I even took the the skills that make it take longer for us to get hungry. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait like 700 turns before we can even eat another meal. Um, I'm thinking wonder we, what we could try and do is do the proselytize or uh, beguiling route and uh, befriend sad Amos or Amos the sad bear. We do have sleepy gas. Been a while since I played this character. I don't know. I think I just kind of want to go for it. He is really tough. Maybe I should come back and do this. Like, you know, it, we don't need to do this right now. And I, I just kind of want to like complete our quest because we are here. And, and if I was to die like at the very last moment here, it would be really rough, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and um, check out our church here. Plastic for gloves, love that. Floating glow sphere, I'll take it. Take the nugs, I'll take all of that. That's good stuff. They're cool with you taking all the stuff here. It would let you know if, if they weren't. I don't know why they are, seems weird. Oh, I don't know what that guy's doing in here. That guy, there seems to always be like one baddie. Or we're not bad, on bad terms now, are we? I don't think we are. I think we're good. Copper Nug. Overburdened. All right. Oh yeah, we're carrying too much to move. All right, let's see what we got. Painted strange tubes, 13 pounds. Missile launcher, tempting. We do have heavy weapons. We are heavy weapons guy. Um, let's see here. Semi-automatic pistol, we can disassemble that. Um, that does put us underweight. Engraved iron mace, let's just look at that. Ushir. Good for sure. Good for Oshir. Whatever, whatever great acts that he committed, um, they deserve to be set in stone. What a, what a lad. Okay. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, oh, right. I forgot they keep a bunch of water here and I have my, I have it set to auto collect fresh water. Um, when did we get a crystal battle axe? Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Uh, let's disassemble this laser pistol. Boop. That'll put us not underweight. Um, tempted on this. You know, we could use the freeze ray to try and fight Amos. Oh, the rocket launcher is really tempting. Actually... I wonder how uh, we have been, oh, you know why we can't do um, you know why we can't do the grenade uh, the, the rocket launcher is because I don't have any ammo for it and the reason I don't have any ammo for it is because I have them set to disassemble so that's gonna be a big old uh, get rid of that disassemble that which sucks did we look at it I don't think it has anything interesting. We do have the grenade launcher. Um, that might be just as good, if not better, than the missile launcher. Although, the missile launcher is 14 pen. What's the uh, accuracy? Low. What's the accuracy on the grenade launcher? Medium. It's okay. I'm going to disassemble the missile launcher. It sucks. I would have kind of liked to have uh, given it a go. But uh, let's be honest, it probably would have gotten us killed. Let's go ahead and use the freeze ray for now. And I'm also gonna go ahead and throw a nuclear cell in it because of course I am, why not? 
Uh, let's see, what do we have here? I'm just gonna explore manually for now. Floating glow sphere, good stuff. Folded carbide dagger, good stuff. Uh, this is all good stuff. We got can't have it all. I think I saw, did I saw another Beetle or just the nor the regular Beetle? They are mining over here. Good for them. I hope they find some Jasper, you know? No, don't, don't, don't auto explore. You're gonna, it's gonna be bad. All right, uh, Mr. Pope man, how are you doing? Do you have anything to trade? Chem cells, worthless. What is your rep? Hated by villagers, hated by mollusks, disliked by mollusks, disliked by goat folk, loved by mechanimus. Another mechanimus lad that we cannot really justify making friends with. I wouldn't mind being on good terms with goat folk. Let's go ahead and complete the step, decoding the signal. We did. Level 26, swell with the inspiration. Um, here, a distant click. I'm pretty sure that that just send, uh, sends up the elevator. Might be wrong about that. Can I hum as it ascends? Okay, I'd prefer to leave the elevator up here. Um, what I'm gonna do, we're not done yet. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, recoil out. Where are we recoiling to? Well, let's recoil back to uh, Grit Gate. Why not? We'll just complete the step. The, the next quest part. Uh, talk to Otho. Hey, Otho. Yes, completed it. We're great. I'm great. Promoted to rank of journey friend. 6,000 XP, as you say. Must be the... I must bring the decoded signal to Barathrum immediately. Return in a few hours, but then I'll have discussed our next course of action with Barathrum and we'll have further instructions for you. Hey, that's... That's uh, Bethesda Susa. Completed. Um, go ahead and wait 700 turns. I don't know. Hmm. I can't remember if I have to go down and talk to Barathrum now. Also, uh, Kit Fox. I, I mean, I, it's it's no, not a secret anymore. Kit Fox is a. Uh, um, publishing caves of cud we talked about it i talked about it with brian on my series go check out my series by the way but um they're uh they're gonna be showing off caves of cud at gamescom which is kind of cool but they're also gonna be i think giving away if not selling official barathrum stickers which i really want one god damn we're the Pewdus Templar. We already know who the Pewdus Templar is. I will secure the spindle of Barath for Barathrum. You've received a new quest, the Earl of Almondporch. And there it is. We are now in the Earl of Almondporch zone. Okay, so before we do that, before we go talk to the Earl of Almondporch, we're officially, we can now go to Ezra, by the way. This is, in my opinion, a uh, permission to go to Ezra. So now we have unlocked Ezra. I have like, finally, I would say maybe for the first time ever, um, you know, followed the proper kind of procedure of Caves of Cud. Um, you know, like, I don't want to have this discussion again about playing optimally. I think it's, it's probably pretty played out, but you know, uh, it felt pretty good to, you know, find workarounds, find new ways of progressing other than just shortcutting straight to Ezra. Um, but before we go to Ezra, oh my god, we're lost in the ruins, aren't we? Oh, ooh. okay, I'm, I'm actually totally cool with that. Uh, we have a freeze ray equipped, don't we? That's actually fun. We just froze that glow moth. Oh god. Um, actually, I kind of don't mind that what just happened there Yo, you're supposed to be frozen. There we go. He's frozen Uh, we're in dueling stance. We'll go ahead and swipe this laser turret. Did that destroy it? I did disarm it a lot of things happened there at once 
So what is this lad? Is it a dream beard? Maze beard. So I'm pretty sure that's confusion. Yeah, confusion gas. I love the, I don't know. The, it's not really a pun so much as just like the, uh, the really fun kind of things going on with the naming convention for maze beard. Cause it's like, you're getting lost in the sauce, <laughs> literally. Um, I just, I love that so much cause they're, their their gas literally gets you lost gets you confused and i just think that's a really great way of uh exploring that i love the i love the maze beard i uh i honestly i really enjoy the beards in general like the you know th these are the equivalent of caves of cuds dragons and uh you know i think that like caves of cud insists on being different in any you know in every conceivable way um but yet and yet i think that it also insists on um following certain conventions like you know this is a uh traditional roguelike and as such it's got to have a couple of checked boxes you know like you you have to have uh unidentified potions aka the artifacts uh aka the tonics um, you've got to have, uh, you know, random teleportation. I think that that is a, uh, mainstay of traditional roguelikes. Um, there's a, there's actually, it, it's, it is funny to me how actually, how often Caves of Cud does follow convention, despite how different it is. Um, it's a very unconventional game. So when it does actually follow convention, when it does um follow tradition the tradition of traditional roguelikes it's it's kind of funny it's like oh yeah i see what you did there it's like uh, you're different but you're not that different at the end of the day we are all from the same you know kind of point of origin all right i went ahead and uh, made the most of this area we did have an ape friend i don't think they, they can tell us where we are nope We'll just have to, you know, find our own way. You recognize the area. Cool. Ahun words to Bethesda Susa back, back there once more. No, I don't want to investigate the roasted boar. Uh, I don't think that there's anything to. Sp oh, what is happening? Okay, that's interesting. Those are livid creepers. Uh, someone made a bunch of livid creepers. Cannot budge the livid creeper. Are we on bad terms? Yeah. I went ahead and made the mangry. I only... Oh, oh, oh God. What is happening? What happened? Irritable palm attempts to slam you. Oh, I got slammed by a palm. Sorry, Mechanimous friend, but you are a danger to me. I just wanted to fight the livid creepers because I, th I thought that they would be, you know, good XP, but I, I think I was wrong about that. Uh, we will want to come back eventually and um, continue our, our, you know, fruitful relationship with trolls. They're all here and they are all, um, oh, I thought they were all on this floor, but I don't see two of them. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We do have a couple Beatles. I think the Beatle on the top right there is already spent. I think I already did that one. I thought I had another Beatle. Um... What are you fighting? So, yeah, we're just gonna go back down. Oh, no. Did you see what happened just now? If it wasn't for the new animations, uh, you would have missed it completely. I don't know why that happened, but the alchemist is now dead. It's a dang shame um, that they didn't drop all their stuff. Your lower right arm. Oh, that's right. Did we get disarmed? I think we're okay, actually. 
I guess, uh, I guess, oh, it's, uh, it was, um, a clone. It was a clone of me. Uh, let's talk to that, Betel. I'm pretty sure these are bad. Three woolly items. Oh, wow. I forgot about this. Um, we have a woolly forked horned helm. We could do that. We could do the plaster for gloves, although I think that's way more expensive than it needs to be. Mod. What could we do? Woolly forked horned helm. I'm pretty sure we don't even have to, like, leave it. Yeah, I don't want to give up nanomaterials for a uh, battle if we don't have to. I guess I'll give up pla uh, woolly or uh, pristine electronics, considering we have like a ridiculous number of them. So we just need one more woolly thing. Yeah, let's make the ape fur hat woolly. And now we'll drop all of that. Drop, drop, drop. I accept your offering. The sparking beetle gives you a pistol. Uh, I assume that's an artifact. We don't know what that is yet. You think you broke it? Nice. Well, we do have tons of fix it spray foam, so we'll go ahead and fix it. And we'll continue to examine it. Gambler's Colossal Sidearm. Pen 9, 1d10 plus 2. Um, overloaded. This item has increased. Oh, it's a lo overloaded masterwork laser pistol. Masterwork. It gives us plus 3 strength. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Accuracy high. Um, this thing is really nice. Item has increased the performance, but consumes extra charge, generates heat when used, and has a chance to break relative to its charge draw. I kind of have never been a huge fan of Overloaded. But I guess we could break, uh, repair it. Plus three strength to use that is quite nice, I have to say. Is the freeze ray a heavy weapon? No, it's a bows and rifles. Very high accuracy. Okay, um, not really why we came down here. Can I grab all this stuff? No, it's all gone. So we lost some plaster for gloves. Actually, we lost our horned helm, fork horned helm, but that's fine. We'll get a new one. Bit of a bummer. Actually, the biggest bummer is that we lost the alchemist. That's the biggest bummer. Uh, we have another Betel here. I think we already did this one. Six crystal halberds. We didn't do that one, and we never will. Five displacer items before me. I shall reward you with great renown. I mean, that's quite nice. Uh, I didn't fully explore this tile because there's definitely a bunch of stuff here. I don't know why I didn't fully explore this zone. Can't remember. I might have been like racing through here. Fix it spray foam, all right. Sphinx salt injector, um, more fix it spray foam, rubber, gum, salve, good stuff. Can't remember why I didn't fully explore this zone. I mean, there must have been a good reason. I'm worried to find out what it was. Oh, I don't uh, maybe it was just kind of like tired of exploring that probably was it that that sounds like me uh, there's a door over here that we can't access because the this glass is in the way okay there's nothing in there um, is there something in here nope okay well we're done here then. Uh, so the only reason we came back here is actually to fight Amos. Amos the bear. We have a freeze ray. Um, that rhinoceros is fine. We don't need to mess with him. Um, face spider is fine. We just need to... It, it, this isn't going to be easy. Let's, let's be real. And I'm definitely, since I am inspired, let's go ahead and... Choose some new ingredients. We're going to do Hulk honey. Um, 
since I do we have any dream beard? No, I don't think we do. We have some gall gall beard. Um, we have some soul curd. We have some spite spark tick plasma, tart beard, vanta petals, null beard. Null beard might be nice. I think that that could be good. But I just like the problem is I really don't want to just like accidentally give give ourselves an effect that I don't want, you know. So let's just do like salt and um, crab jerky or bear jerky. How about that? Bear jerky with Hulk honey. That sounds great, actually. One agility for the rest of the day. Um, plus 10 to 15 percent max HP plus four strength. There we go. Perfect. Um. I just like to check the other ones whenever you take damage there's a 12 to 15 percent chance you get plus 30 to 40 percent max hp for one hour that's actually really nice whenever you take damage there's a 10 8 to 10 percent chance you have a 50 percent chance i don't like that i don't like compounding percentile chances all right so we're gonna do this middle one this is great this is pretty much exactly what i want fantastic um i won't lie this is kind of spooky so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna break this open and um i could just throw some grenades what do we have equipped really should have thought of this before oh we have a geomagnetic disc yeah we can throw a disc in i'm gonna let him escape and i'm gonna as soon as he escapes i'm gonna hit him with sleep gas and freeze grenade I might actually just like start breaking these i'm gonna be very careful not to give him any free rounds okay so that's one of those broken i really just need to keep my eye on him while this is happening okay that's another one broken remember does he have reputation no he doesn't i'm gonna go ahead and break this uh glass here just just on the off chance he gets free before i want him to uh i actually and we have grenades right i kind of want to just like throw we don't have that many we actually don't have that many grenades Uh, let's equip a time dilation grenade Keep him in sight throw a time dilation grenade I'm I'm really taking like no chances with this guy He he has every potential chance to mess you up Um, I honestly kind of like the idea of using a flamethrower on him just for just to warm him up a bit Oh, the, this thing takes our body pack. Are we over encumbered now? No, we're not. Thank goodness. Okay, um, fire. We're not very good shots. So he's time dilated right now. I'm pretty sure he is warmed up just enough. Um, so what I'd like to do now is re-equip the freeze ray. But I'd also like to... What do we have equipped in our time dilation grenades? Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and throw some acid gas grenades. How about that? So he's frozen again. He did move. I don't want to destroy the things he's got is the problem. feel like what I should be doing is hitting him with, like, lasers instead of, uh, you know, 
Tell you what, let's uh let's equip a flashbang. I'm I really am taking like zero chances with this guy. I know what he's capable of. He is capable of messing you up something fierce. Um and uh where is my Yo, where is Where's my laser? What the heck? What happened to my laser gun? When, when did I lose my laser gun? I didn't disassemble it, did I? There's no way. What happened to it? I'm not holding it. I'm not holding it. So what happened to it? What happened to our jacked laser? Uh, that's disconcerting. It's like not here at all. Did I accidentally disassemble it? I think I did. I think I disassembled it when I was like down in, in the, the church. We can get another one easy enough, but that's that just is really dumb. That is a really stupid thing that I did. Okay, well, how about this? We're going to equip the gambler's colossal sidearm. And um, we still have time. He's still frozen. We will uh, throw a nuclear cell in it. We'll try it. Yeah, it does some nice damage. Is he still time dilated? I don't think he is. No, he's not. What do we have equipped for a grenade? Flashbang. Okay, I mean, flashbang is fine. I'm really not... I'm going to take my time here because, like... I don't want him to get a chance to hit us, but also I don't want to lose the equipment. Okay, he's he's free. Flashbang. Okay, is he confused? Yeah, he's confused. Um, let's go ahead and equip a new kind of grenade. Maybe a freeze grenade? Uh, actually, freeze grenades would be a good idea here. The reason I wasn't using freeze grenades before is because they cooled down the area and I think that's what destroyed his equipment before is that I I I made them too cold. I can uh okay. Oh, so that's the problem with this the colossal sidearm is that it uh has a chance to break and uh now I don't have a sidearm and I don't have the the strength. So what I should do is like, I, I kind of want to fix it. I know this is not something I should do right now, but the reason I'm I'm even bothering. Um, please tell me it's not like fully broken. Hold on, missile weapons, gamblers, colossal sidearm. He is no longer. He is no longer confused. Do we have a... Yeah, we have a frozen grenade equipped. Okay. Just freeze him for a moment. The reason I'm doing this is for the plus three strength. Yeah, I think I cooled down the, the stuff too much and it reached that critical point where uh, it just things just break because they're too cold. Ow. Yeah, that's what happens when you go into... So did he disarm me? He did not. Okay, uh, why don't we try and disarm him? He's on, he's got on guard. Um, actually, let's start a vision. So that we have a chance here. Release sleepy gas. There we go, knocked prone. Swipe the weapon out of his hand. I don't think that that worked. I kind of wish um, at the bottom here we had... We could see their effects as well, like they're dazed, wakeful. 
they're in on guard mode though so every every attack they make they have a chance to um to to uh disarm us but i'm pretty sure we have the advantage right now they're dazed I do, I do want to try and swipe the weapon out of their hand. We are stunning them with our gas. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. We broke... We broke this ceremonial Kopesh. The reason that's not a bad thing is because I'm pretty sure they're not, like, destroyed. They're just broken. Um... And that means he doesn't have a weapon right now dazed so he's kind of uh he's kind of uh neutered right now like he doesn't have much he can do anymore he fell asleep um we can just kind of hit him i actually i think i'll switch to an aggressive stance that seems to be doing less damage to him i guess it's because uh, I think aggressive stance is higher pen, but lower chance to hit, whereas dueling stance is higher chance to hit, but not the same kind of pen damage. We're doing good stuff here. Badly wounded. Your precognition is about to run out. Would you like to return? No. They're about dead. They are dead. And we gained the health, the, the XP. So, we've done it. Where is the Kopesh? I swear to God, if we lost the Kopesh again, I'm going to be cheesed. Where, where does it keep going? Why, what keeps breaking it? Like, is it made of glass? It's gone. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna wait for this gas to disperse a little bit. Yeah, no, it, it, it's gone. Frozen sad Emma's feet. I thought it was just broken. Did I like pick it up by ec like automatically? I'm, I'm really grasping at straws here. Frozen Crystal Battle Axe? No, we didn't get it. Artifact? Nope. Wow, we really, we really didn't get it. God damn. My lord, that, that, it, it just evades us every time, it, it seems. Um, well, it's not a complete waste. We did get some interesting stuff. We got ourselves, um, where is this? In tools, maybe? I think we got the jetpack can't remember what it is um miscellaneous no where what like we did get something i know that right let me look up the log uh we got crystal boots that's the first thing we got and those are good we did get uh, and we got okay there it is the f flume flyer of the crystal bear can't remember what i think this is a jetpack you may activate this item to enter a dashing state. While dashing, whenever you move in a direction, you dash forward to the nearest enemy or obstacle and perform an attack. For every three spaces you dash, you gain a plus two bonus to hit and a plus two penetration bonus to attack attacks you make. If you do not encounter an enemy or obstacle after 20 spaces, you stop dashing. Um, Why have I never used this? It's got a pretty rough cooldown but it lasts for 10 rounds recall story willem when salum was the land of cud there was height amas and a sturdy sad of kfs was he lord and magistrate switch skillful arms did di did he earn him that estat what with his wisdom and his hardiness, he conquered all the reign of Alderses and through the eye 
ire dashed underneath his shroud and rafts the heads of all those big and proud and when the coven could by un ascent that starry toe shall be to prison sent did Sadamus send toe to prison like the toe he led in all the way and sh shut the door while Ascaran men did quake behind his floor. So bury in not the baron in a tomb, but freshen now to interrupt his dome. And un day resurrect to fight again and making the sons of Salum all full fain. Wow. Okay. I didn't under I realize how legendary this bear really was. Did they actually like fight Pato or Toe themselves? Um, yeah, I am going to equip that. That seems amazing. How can I not? Uh, let's try and um, do a little swapping around. I don't think I'm ever going to use defensive stance. I'll be real. I can't remember what defensive stance even does. Plus two to three DV while we... Yeah, we're never going to use a defensive stance, stance. Like straight up. It's never going to be useful to us. Sorry. Uh, to be honest, I think Titan Carapace is also not a big one for us. Every time I've tried to make it work, it hasn't. <laughs> Period. Hard stop. Uh, Mark Target is actually not useful to us because um, we don't really use bows and rifles stunning force is still good precognition is one i tend to use a lot uh what i'd like though is activate foom flyer i didn't realize that meditate was an activatable skill let's put that where defensive stance was and that'll be our new def new new mode and i mean the the, the sad amos the, the flyer bear he he was a user of the long blade he or she i can't remember sorry but um you know so so we should be able to make great use of this this jetpack we have a jetpack i've i don't think i've ever used this thing and i'm excited to try um if you are enjoying this series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy